Today, we are going to look at short answers. Short answers, of course, are just short answers to a yes-no question. And usually, a short answer is three syllables, at least. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Can you play tennis? Yes, I can. Can you play tennis? No, I can't. This sounds natural and nice to the listener. If you only say yes or no, it doesn't sound nice. It doesn't sound like good English. So let's look at this one. Does she live near here? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Now, notice for the three parts, we have yes or no. And then you have the subject that you're talking about. And then whatever the auxiliary or modal word is. So these match. And for not, we always contract it. No, she doesn't. We don't say, no, she does not. Uh, it just doesn't sound natural. Here we would say can't. We would not say cannot. So let's practice. Let's see you do this. Let's look at five sentences here. And I'll say the question. Then you say, what's the answer? Ready? Here we go. Number one. Do you like sushi? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, now let's do number two. Is she coming tomorrow? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Number three. Will they be here tomorrow? Yes, they will. No, they won't. Number four. Did he buy the car? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Okay, last chance, number five. Does that pool, I'm sorry, does that hotel have a pool? Does that hotel have a pool? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. So hotel would be it. And that's it. That's the lesson for the day. So just remember, short answers, yes, but ba no, but ba Say that, you'll sound natural and like a real English speaker.